Hi, Dr. Vincent E. Pasquale uh, with Orthobiologics Associates, the Center for Integrative Healing. Uh, one of the most common questions I get is, what is the difference between platelet-rich plasma, or PRP, and stem cell therapy, or cellular products? And there is a really big difference, but I like to kind of, uh, and it's very complex, but at the end of the day, I like to uh, use a simple analogy because I think this goes a long way. You know, essentially what cellular products represents are the seeds to heal and regenerate tissue, then PRP is the fertilizer. So if we can think in terms of healing, I know a lot of people talk about regenerative medicine and they think regeneration of tissue, but really it's a healing mechanism more so than it is regeneration. We can get regeneration of specific tissues, but ultimately our job and our goal is to heal damaged tissue that doesn't have the capacity to heal on its own, or maybe hasn't been able to heal to completion. So if we think seeds and fertilizer, then obviously the indication for those interventions are target tissue dependent. So let's talk a little bit about the normal healing process first, and then it'll kind of become clear. So if I were to cut my hand, I don't have to tell my body to heal. The mechanism by which my body heals is complex, but usually the first responders are platelets. Platelets kind of indicate that there is an acute process or there is an acute process which brings platelets to the area and they kind of run the show. Now there are inherent cells that exist in my skin that are activated. And once activated, they become a mature, what we would term a stem cell. There are many other accessory cells involved. So really the preferred term is cellular medicine, not stem cell therapy. Uh, but essentially for you know, all intents and purposes, you know, stem cells once active will start to heal and regenerate tissue by secreting growth factors on behalf of that tissue. They're there is a direct interaction. So in that particular circumstance, we have the entirety of the healing process. We have platelet aggregation. We have blood flow that comes to the area because of the inflammatory process. We have stimulation of cells and or stem cells and accessory cells that help in the healing process. Now in biologics, in regenerative medicine, that's essentially what we attempt to recreate, or that's exactly what we do recreate. Now, we don't always need both products. So if you can imagine tendons and muscles and skin-related conditions, well, they have diffuse capillary networks, lots of blood flow. They have lots of satellite cells, the ones that I just described that can become activated. So in those circumstances, tendinopathies, tendinitis, plantar fasciitis, muscle issues, and skin problems, all we have to bring to the equation in those cases is fertilizer because many of the other components exist. However, if we are trying to heal damaged connective tissue, ligaments, joint capsules, cartilage, even discs in the spine, then we have to bring all of the components to the area because those tissues are very poorly vasculated or they don't have a whole lot of blood flow. And more importantly, they don't contain the inherent cells that are necessary for the healing process like I just described. So in that case, we need seeds and we need fertilizer. The seeds come in the cellular form and they come from multiple different places or multiple different resources. Most commonly in orthopedics, we're talking about a bone marrow type of situation. But um, I think the most important thing to understand about the difference, and, and here's the thing, you know, we're finding more and more about platelets and the role that they play in secreting specific regulatory proteins. They can even affect central nervous system in a positive way. Um, so they're really important to the puzzle, but ultimately, if you can think in those terms, we have seeds, we have fertilizer. So at the end of the day, if we're trying to heal dense connective tissue, we require both. If we're not trying to heal dense connective tissue, tissue where we don't have to bring the entire party to the scene, then ultimately we can get away with PRP and it's extremely effective in that regard. I hope that that makes sense. It's the easiest analogy that I have. Um, and if, you look, if you're looking forward to more information from me, I'm, I will be putting out lots more videos. You can visit us at orthobiologicsassociates.com. There's tons of information in there. We do give away free eBooks that help to explain you know, why we do what we do in terms of the paradigm shift, the tools that we have at our disposal, um, the likelihood for long-term outcomes, those types of things. Uh, but I also like you to subscribe, please, you know, as, uh, as I start to put out more and more videos, my goal is to educate. You know, look, I always tell patients the most important thing to me is giving you the information necessary to make the most appropriate decision for your condition and the future quality of your life. Thanks.